They've been in the oven for about an hour and a half because they're whole. If you're going to slice them, they only need to cook about 40 minutes. We're going to let them cool some and then slice them in half. Yummy, they smell so good. All right, like with any squash, once it's cool enough to handle, now see how it shreds already here? So you got to kind of be careful getting the seeds out so that you don't end up throwing out all your good spaghetti squash. You got to find the center where the seeds are. Am I in that picture? Yeah. And just get the seeds out right there. Now, if you want to save your seeds, do it like I did on the other video. Cut it in half, then roast it um, cut side down. But I'm not keeping any of these seeds. I'll do one more for you. Don't worry about cutting that part out. That's really good on your spaghetti. It's nice and flavorful and caramelized. And just try to get just as many seeds as you can and not the uh, threads. Then once you have a clean cavity all you're going to do is run your fork and it turns to spaghetti shreds. You're going to go all the way to the skin. See that? I'm just going to fork it up. you got spaghetti. We're going to dehydrate this. Alright, so... You take your squash and you got to figure out which way they're going. Usually like that. And you just take your fork and I mean it's that easy when they're done properly. If they're really juicy, then they're not completely cooked and they're just a little harder to get it out. And you don't want to just scoop the whole thing out and then break it up because it's a lot easier to shred it in the shell. See that? Hopefully my arm's not in the way. See how it's just shredding right out of there? Like spaghetti. And you want to keep doing this until your shell is completely empty. And when I say completely empty, I mean completely empty. Don't worry about the brown stuff. That really tastes good. And there you go. A nice empty shell. You're going to want to dehydrate this um, 125, probably for at least 12 hours. And you want to spread this out because remember it's going to stick together. So however thick you make it, you're stuck with that for your dehydrated bag. Alright. And I'll show it to you when it comes out of the dehydrator. Now you can also microwave these. It's two and a half minutes per pound, but you're going to cut them in half with cut side up and wax paper over them. But you can do it that way if you so choose. Or you can bake them cut in half, face side down in a baking pan, or you can just throw them in the oven whole. In the baking pan it's about 40 minutes. Whole, it's about an hour and a half. Big huge ones, longer than that. This is borderline putting it back in the oven on this one. Alright, looks like I've got seven trays there. That is uh, two 9 by 13 pans with spaghetti squash in it. Varying sizes. So that gives you an idea of how much it makes. 
So remember about 125 for about 12 hours. If it's undercooked, it's going to take longer because the juices are still in it. Okay, so here's spaghetti squash, dehydrated. Turned out really nice. Only one tray took a while because it was way too thick. But the rest of it, and it smells really sweet. I'm excited to try this. So let's get started with the recipe. All right, so now let's make something with that spaghetti squash. What I have here is the dehydrated spaghetti squash. You can really smell the uh, sugars in it. And we're just going to cover it with water. And as the water gets absorbed, as you need more, just add more. And we're going to do the home can sp spaghetti sauce from 2010. We'll let it sit for at least 20 minutes. We'll see how long it takes. So let's go ahead and finish up our spaghetti squash. It has been sitting for quite a while. I went ahead and just put it in the refrigerator because it was so early and I wasn't ready to cook. I was still trying to clean up the mess from the meetup yesterday. So you just keep adding water, like I said, until it doesn't absorb any more water and it's rehydrated. And then we're going to put it in our strainer and drain it. Because you don't want all that extra water. Okay? I'm going to taste it. Mmm. Oh, man. Tastes just like spaghetti squash. So all I'm going to do now, I'm not going to do the uh, spaghetti sauce. I'm going to do pesto. And I have a pint jar of frozen basil. And so... I'm going to put it in the pot first with some oil. I went ahead and broke off some. And it's easier to put it in a bag and uh, do it from there. And I don't do the whole pine nut thing and all of that. You can add your pine nuts, but you know, pine nuts are really expensive. And if you're like me, it doesn't add that much to it that it's worth the cost. Now, you're going to use quite a bit of olive oil, but while I'm thawing it, I'm keeping the olive oil pretty thin. I'm going to dehydrate some in my next harvest and see if it turns out just as good. I don't think it's going to, but... So I'm not going to probably do a lot of it. Because I really love my pesto. And I'm going to can some. And so I'm just moving it around in the oil until it thaws. And as it gets really thick, I'm adding more. You know what? I mean, there you go. You can see better now, huh? Oh, it smells wonderful fresh in here. All I do is pick it from the garden, grind it up, and then throw it right in a jar and freeze it. The quicker you are at getting it in the jar... The less brown it gets, the fresher taste it gets. So if you're going to can it, you got to can it with the olive oil. Don't try to use any other oil when you're canning it. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be a pretty picture. So now I'm dumping in. I like a lot of olive oil. Got to be careful because my rehydrated spaghetti squash is wetter than regular. Sorry about the banging. I'm uh, getting my squash out. I'll be right back. I almost forgot. I do squeeze in a little garlic. And you just squeeze the handle and out it comes. Then you take a knife and cut it off. I keep some garlic in the refrigerator. Alright, so we have our spaghetti squash drained. And now we're just going to... Now we're just going to toss it in. I, I really miss my tripod. But the camera will not stay on the tripod anymore. And my flip is broken, so you'll just have to bear with me until 
I get enough money to purchase a new one. So we're just mixing it up and basically I'm just heating it. And mixing that pesto sauce in. Now I do not can my pesto with Parmesan cheese in it. Um, I always either make it fresh with the milk which is really nice to serve it fresh with this or I use the um, what I have in my food storage of the can. So this is a great food storage meal. Like I said, next batch of basil I will can so you can see how to can it. Alright, so we're just going to let that heat up. And then the last thing we do is we throw in the Parmesan cheese. And there we go. Spaghetti, squash with pesto, and garlic bread. Mmm. Tastes like fresh. Blessings.